Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Maybe you should wait for the question first. The answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? What happened on Lamentis after we left? He said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you're able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. Also, maybe you could look at us when we're talking. That's quite rude. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Whew, that was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe, and she believed you? Oh, no, not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good, because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Okay, that's enough about that, I think. If we can ever actually navigate around this bit of geometry here. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. I mean, I guess how else would a llama think? Yeah, that's fair. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> what? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked unifier? <laughs> the, the grand humidity. I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> the grand humifier was right there, guys. <laughs> hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, no you aren't. You don't even have headphones on. I got multiple brain chips, Quill. I don't need no headphones. Oh, music straight into your brain. That's amazing! What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skullsuit doesn't show up in time. Nice, what is it? You'll see. Can't wait. Yeah, so we do have a couple of Guardian collectibles to look at still, but first let's go and have a chat with our buddies here. Sanhubri, you wish to practice hand-to-hand -hand techniques. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Hey, bet those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him? Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. I don't know, I think that's pretty impressive with or without. You're riding along with Lady Hellbender. She have you try on battle armor? Oh, no. She's very respectful of other women's bodily autonomy. We just talked. She asked about you. Uh, really? 
She wanted to know if you'd give her your bomb recipe. Sir Groot praised your skills at length in captivity. Uh, you, you don't got to apologize, bud. Look, she can get my bomb recipe if she pays for it. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you I'm getting Nikki out of there, no matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. Okay, let's see. We do have one of the collectibles here for Groot. Also, we can look at Groot's quarters here, and we can see he has kind of accumulated a bunch of plants from the various places we have gone to. That's pretty neat, actually, that he just uh, collects the stuff from the, the various locations. And sometimes I can see the birth of the universe. First, there's only one reality, and then, bam, all reality. That's kind of cool. I wonder if he knows what it is. He does. It's a plant. Yeah, but what kind of plant? Mantis, Groot, hey. Hey, Star Guy. Uh, shouldn't you be keeping this in the fridge since it came from Maklu? I am Groot. Just like you, Sir Groot. What did he say? Oh, just that with the right care, the plant you gave him can survive pretty much anywhere, even on spaceships. I can see why you'd want plants in space. It's so... Empty? I am Groot. Yes, dark. And gloomy and doomy. Blech. I prefer home to be on the ground. I am Groot. Aww, such a cutie. And if you can't go to your planet, make your planet come to you. Wait, does that make Little Fuzzy your maintenance mammal? Maintenance mammals? There were creatures like Rocket on your homeworld. Oh, yes. I am Groot. He says there were lots of little furry babies on Tolunia. Tolunia? You know, Planet X. Ah. But Little Fuzzy wasn't one of them. He's one of a kind. The maintenance mammals on Tolunia were servants to Groot's people. Gross. I am Groot. That's terrible! What? He says the other saplings were big meanies to the maintenance mammals. They'd hurt them. For fun. I am Groot. But Sir Groot says he preferred their company over his people because they were super smart and nice. I am Groot. He says their kindness reminds him of Little Fuzzy. <laughs> really? Rocket? I am Groot. Aw, you big sweetie. He says he couldn't protect his friends on Planet X, but he can protect rockets. He's lucky to have you, man. Hell, we're all lucky to have you. I am Now hug. Oh, uh... <laughs> maybe later? Yeah, maybe later. We have more things to talk about. I'm a little disappointed the option just wasn't there in general. What was your home like? You know, before. Beautiful. He says he wanted to be a forest caretaker, so he could spend time caring for all the wonderful plants that grew there. What stopped you? His dad. Sir Groot's a prince? Just like you, Star Guy. Wait, your dad was a king? Big meanie. He says his dad and the other Arbor Masters were corrupt. They favored the few over the many and turned sentient mammals into slaves. Why are all dads that happen to be kings always dicks? With great power comes, uh, great abuses of it? Power sucks. Even the wisest tree and purest water can be poisoned. <laughs> Sir Groot says it's up to us to be the antidote. Gardening helps him find purpose and healing. I get it. My mom loved her garden. Me too. Well, if there's anything I can do to help you with your garden or make the Milano feel more like home, let me know. He says thank you. 
repeat. Um, Mandis, are you just gonna stand there? I guess. Okay. She'll, fine. she'll come back up when she's ready, I guess. So we do have one more collectible to talk about, so let's head to Drax's quarters and try to find the thing. There it is. Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blade. God damn it, Peter. <laughs> Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait. So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. And yes, I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultaf. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we... mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh... Its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First, I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live, to set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but 
Hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Okay, and I believe that was the final Guardian collectible. That sounds about right to me. So, let's just see if there's anything else we can do on the ship before we head to the... the final mission, I guess. Oh boy. So, uh, Bug Girl, how come you can understand Groot so well? You've only known him a few cycles. Telenesan is a common language in some realities. The Jatauri don't always blow up Planet X. I am Groot. Yep. There's a dimension where I learned to speak it from a very aggressive compost vendor on Nowhere. <gasps> Groot loves compost. Yeah, man, this you can come up here. It's fine. <laughs> now, before we go, let's just take a look at this archive in Rocket's quarters because it may or may not be important. We did see this in the very first episode. Talk about these fancy gold costumes, which are in need of a test run. So maybe. Is this the time? Is it... It just might be. Oh man, <laughs> I can't wait. So I think that does it for the stuff we can do aboard the ship, so let's just head out. Alright, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Good, thanks. Now I think we're fine. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocket, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Look at those movies. Our deception is working. I sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? So I have some control here, but I'm not sure if that really matters all that much. I was gonna say, this seems like a pretty, pretty scripted bit here. Yep, yeah, I can move the controls and everything, so... I don't know. Why are we whispering anyways? 
I almost wish the game picked uh, Rick Astley to blast into everyone's uh, spacecrafts. Yet you're still whispering. Because I don't want to be the one to flark it up if they can hear through it. But they can't. Well, certainly if they could hear us. Just fly casual. Any day now. What? Orgoth's breath. Whoa! Yes! Lady Hellbender has arrived! Guardians of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknaf 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding! We are sneaking! Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive! Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base on the way in. There's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Wait, so what was the point of trying to slip in if, uh, we were just gonna go in loud once Lady Hellbender got here? Ah, don't worry about it. And there's a lot of enemies, so we should probably just gun it. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Damage report. Stop getting ahead and there won't be no damage. Useful, thanks. Yeah! Cheap shot! That's a lot of turrets. Kill him or dodge him. We gotta get through there. Direct hit. We must make the most of this diversion. And we're in. You sure you could fly her? Yes! Sometimes! Okay, good. Let's, let's hope we're in the reality that she can fly it. And yes, you can see we are wearing our shiny suits. And also, Groot unlocked his... Mega ability, so... He can either heal us fully... Or, if we still have it in stock when we die, we just get a full revive. So, we might want to keep it just in our back pocket. Just in case. Still, that's pretty handy to have. Okay, I'm not doing so well here. Let's just... Are we gonna have to show it off immediately? Ah, uh, no, no. We're fine. <laughs> Just had to regroup a little bit. Um, at this point we also can't use our huddle because of course we don't have the Walkman. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh man. Uh... That probably means we're gonna be getting it back then, because I can't imagine you'd be without a mechanic like that for the end game. Oh, we'll get it back eventually. But we do have a bunch of fights here that we have to do without it. But we should be fine. We got this pretty well sorted out. Yeah, like, uh, the first impression aside, you're you're doing fine now. Yeah, I don't know what happened there at the start. I, don't, I was just kinda not paying attention, I guess. Good! 
Okay, we got some more lads coming in. They get blown up. That is what they deserve. Right into that one. These dudes when to quit. Hold up, Rocky. Make them hurt, Gamora. These guys really need to work on their hospitality. We had such a warm reception last time. And this guy has a little bit more health. <laughs> and he tries his big old AOE, but so much for that. Okay, hello lads. Hit him down, Groot! Fuck it! New gun! Pulverize I will enjoy this! Hey! Yeah, these are the Saudi Spongier boys, and they also brought some friends, so... Let's just try to get rid of the big boys first. Yes, we get through this quickly. Yeah. We don't want them to heal the little guys, and we have snipers now, and everything's going a little bit chaotic, but never mind. We are also very low on health. We're fine, we're fine. Everything is fine. Well, we are in fact almost dead, but that's fine. It's okay, we've got Groot. Right? Indeed. But I'd still rather not get killed here, even <laughs> though we can get revived. Not just in general. Get on the floor. This, way. Up the others. this is not going to plan if we even had a plan in the first place. You get down here. Watch out! Look out! Man, are we even putting it down? Oh great, thanks. Yes, I'm working on it. Smash him up, Death has come! Lady Heldender's entrance was quite the spectacle. How is she staying a strike through without a saddle? That is a pretty good question, actually. Oh, how to keep up the pressure! Oh, crap! Light him up, Rocket! Okay, and we don't really have much of anything to do there, so... Well, at least we got all of those guys, like, trapped for a second, so they don't do anything. I'm not sure about the hitbox on that one, but never mind. That could have gone better, but at least we got a nice finish. church after this come on you ain't never been in a church yes i have this one twice how can we be certain they have not found a way to convert the warlock it would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him and there's a lot of faith scott beaming into this place he almost kicked our butts when he was all sad and mopey just imagine him glowing with promise power if they found a way to turn him we'll just have to go into his mind and fix him too i ain't jumping into that freak's promise can you imagine? Mirrors as far as the eye can see. Shirts full of combs and cheap hair products. You use hair products. I said cheap. A wealth of luxurious oils and sweet <laughs> perfume. Mantis, no spinning! Why is she spinning? Well, I hear it's a good trick. Someone found the barrel roll button. Imagine that! 
the havoc Lady Helping must be wreaking outside. Yeah, well, the five of us are doing some pretty good havoc wreaking in here. Yes, as you can probably imagine, this final mission does have a whole bunch of fighting. Which makes sense because we are assaulting the Sacrosanct, which is the... Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. Hey, we can get through here! You come and quill! Which is obviously the evil lair of the bad guys, so... Yeah. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. I can probably overload this. Let's see here. Just gotta get rid of the flap first. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay, sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we ain't! Brute, you're up! Well, that didn't really work very well at all. I wanted to get more of them trapped, but that's fine as well, I guess. Let's give them hell! Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano. I believe the insect witch is quite capable as a pilot. Any uh, basis for that belief, Drax, or...? Ah, uh, probably not. Probably crushed half the armada by now. Well, let, let's hope we can uh, find a way home after all this, I suppose. Drax, prepare yourself, then. It's a bit cold, so they've got to have janitors. Also, this place is very shiny. We blend right in. It seems a good time to shed our garb for the battle ahead. Nope. Never a good time for that. I am Groot. Groot says he's fine fighting naked. Yeah, I kind of figured he said something like that. I could tell from the tone. <laughs> Do not believe these people are janitors. Yeah, there are some very heavily armed janitors. Oh, you, you we win. We get first hits on all the salvage, right? Lady Hellbender may have an opinion on that. Another crazy <laughs> cult is dealt with. The Lord's commandment number one. Thou shalt stab. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think these guys are up for a chat. When are they ever really? Oh, yeah. I love playing Zappazella. Having fun praying on the week? Uh, what is next, Peter Quill? Well, next we fight some more guys, I would assume. Do you think, Drax? Last time someone got stabbed! Round him up, Quill! I forgot I added that. I was about to say, did <laughs> did I just hear Goofy? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and we will dodge it. I just like the ah, there we go. the whole animation of that guy just getting launched into the pit so much that I just had to add, add the sound effect. It's pretty. It was pretty good uh, use for it. Oh. Ignore it, Mantis. You put tape over my warning lights? They're distracting. You just lost your tape privileges. It's my tape! I mean, I wouldn't put it past this game to just put the goofy yell in there anyway. Mm -hmm. 
But this didn't. I had to do the needful, so to speak. I would love to see that, but from the outside. Yeah, let's not be here when she does. Right, we are faced with a locked door, so let's see what we can do about that. Well, that doesn't work. Is this really the most efficient path? <laughs> Not even close. Let me guess, this is the only one where we have a chance to survive? What? You can see the timelines too? Sure, let's go with that. Safest is a relative term, Peter. Yeah, like Rocket suggested, we have to use the wind ammo to pull up more of these panels for cover. This wind shall not break our determination. It sure is trying. Defiant, furry one. Um, guys, you're not even in cover. They'll be fine. <laughs> See? Told ya! You're thinking! Yeah, so the fan starts up really, really quickly, so you have to be really fast about this. It's kind of annoying, actually. Because like no! look how fast that is. Jesus, yeah! So there's gonna be a whole bunch of sitting behind these convenient objects. Uh, you okay there, Peter? Sounded He'll... like he was passing a kidney stone or something there. He'll be fine, I think. Nope, can't jump over there. I wonder if you would have enough, have enough time to do it if you jumped and then pulled up the floorboard? I don't trust myself enough to even attempt that. Did, wait, where did Rocket go? Why did he just jump off over there? I mean, that's cover, I guess. I mean, it is. I can't deny that. Or maybe that. he wanted these shiny components. Did he, did he actually pick them up? No. But they're there if you want them. We don't need them, so who cares? Back on sector. At least it's not raining. Don't jinx it. Yeah, this really isn't the most exciting part of the game. Mm. No, not not especially. Oh, you gotta like go uh, two sections in a row right there. Now up here, we have some stuff, more panels as well, which we should probably pull up before we fall. <laughs> Tactical analysis or something. Peter Quill's mind works in unfathomable ways. Oh, God damn it! Actually, thinking about it, you could probably stand on the other side of that thing, too. It would just blow you into the panel. Yeah, probably. But what we want to do is go over here, because there's a costume. That just looks weird. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not doing it for me. I don't remember if this is the last costume we get, because there's at least three of them that are unlocked after you beat the game. Gotcha, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I think the one next to the current shiny costume is one we can find in this level, but... I went through that pretty fast. So let's just take a look at all the Golden Guardians costumes. They are very shiny. Mm -hmm. As we have established.
You know what? I think Drax has a reasonable worry there. I, I can't imagine how how much of a pain it will be to clean these costumes. Yeah, yeah, that might be a worry. Well, maybe not for Groot. Good stuff. Let's see if I actually had the presence of mind. No, I did not. I thought I might have looked at Peter's suit again, but no. Oh well. Because like I said, I think I did click through it pretty fast earlier, so... So sorry about that. <laughs> Was not thinking. Okay, come on. I probably could have just jumped there. Yeah, I think you might have been able to. Oh Whoa. boy. Oh dear. I might as well fall in the pit for old time's sake. <laughs> You can never go wrong in the pit. Okay, that was a little bit hairy as well, but we did make it, so... So everything is fine. It's kind of hard to tell when the wind is actually affecting you. It is kind of weird that, like, it takes a couple seconds to ramp up. Because, like, I would assume that once the particles appear, then it will start pushing you back. Yeah, but... apparently but it doesn't. Which I think does mean you probably could try to... Make a couple of those jumps. It just doesn't look like it. Go get him, guys. Scott. Great. Now what? Where is he? Ah, got him. Golden boys this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. To it. Look how shiny everything is. Seriously, they wasted no expense here. Can you believe the game actually launched without ray tracing support? At least on console. They patched it in a few months after launch. That's. That feels weird that they uh. They had to or they they couldn't finish it on time. I guess they probably just weren't able to optimize it in time. I guess, but... I don't remember if the PC version had it on launch. I would assume it did, but I'm not sure. Because I didn't play that until it came out on Game Pass. Yeah, I don't know. An area like this just feels like perfect for, uh... Like, you know, showing off like what you can do with ray tracing and... You know... Yeah, I'm pretty sure even, even our costumes are ray traced, I think. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, like... It's just one of those tech demo things that's like... It's really cool, and but it's like, you didn't ship with the feature finished. But yeah. It looks pretty ray traced to me, at least. Of course, when the reflections are good enough, like when you do a screen space thing, it's pretty similar to a proper RT. A proper RT. Right, right. So I can't say for 100% sure, but but yeah, everything is very shiny here and I like it. Except I don't like that though, <laughs> the floaty mines, they are very rude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the the outfits are ray traced. 
that looks really... That looks like RT to me. When you really look at it. Yeah, I'd believe it. He sure is. So let's do something about that. This is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we got some shielded boys now, but they are weak to shock, so that'll do nicely. Yes, thank you, I'm aware. Yes, your great strength shall be utilized. Here we go. We're working on it. The giant swing. Oh, hell yeah. That's what you get, squat hoppers. <laughs> Rocket, do you just make up those words or do they mean something? They mean I'm sick of getting shot at. Shuck it, guffle stompers. Not bad. Rocket, can you pop the lock on that door? Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. Ah, well, that didn't work. That panel's blocked. But I got a better idea. Hang on. Out of the way! Rocket time! Ah, and that's how it's done! Excellent work. Well, that works. You don't get to call me then. <laughs> Now that wasn't really ideal. Sometimes kind of hard to see which enemy you're targeting, but we did manage to at least get rid of those guys eventually, so so it all worked out. Stop the sword, crew. This way. Come on. All right. Let's keep moving. Thanks, Groot. Whoa! Monster down! Whoa! Scott! This that one's off to Monster Valhalla. It was a noble death. Mantis, how's it going up there? So many dead. It's always hard to watch. These beasts are very brave. Just hold on, okay? We're making good progress. You are very Is this ship? Yeah, that about sums it up, I think. <laughs> Damn snipers. We have likely half the galaxy's population. There's gonna be one heck of a mess to sort out after. Well, it was all in self-defense. Although us having the, or cutting the galaxy's population in half is uh I feel like a little reminiscent of uh, Thanos' plot there. Lights out on this whacked out soldier. What? He wants to know who will plant all these bodies with no dirt out here. I don't get what he's. He knows we bury our dead. Oh, that ain't planting you, big goof. That's making worm food. Ain't no space worms. I fought space worms. I'm sure there's plenty of space worms. But are there any over here? Well, not in this exact location, no. But I hate seeing them monsters use as weapons. All right, let's figure out a way to get through here. We're in a rush, apparently. Try your blasters, Peter. How do we not become monster chow? Let's keep pushing forward. I wanted an answer to the question. It was a good question. Bring us a real challenge! 
Quill. I fear I will not be able to harm your child if she is lost. I am Groot. Of course you wouldn't let him, you big lug, but what if she don't give us a choice? Not to be insensitive or nothing, but there's something very, very wrong with that kid. And, uh, you know, fun time with Raker ain't making her any more sane. I'll take care of it. Even if it means... I'll take care of it. What? Hard to believe the fight for everything is happening, like, right here. People are gonna write books about this. Thanks, bud. Man, I'd love to confiscate this ship. Sure, she's a fixer-upper, but it'd be worth it. That's one hell of a paint job. I would miss Kami. I think there would be room for her. Any yeah, I don't know. There? No. Better than being exposed up here. The insurance costs might be a little bit exorbitant. <laughs> awesome. Damn. You drop your blasters and we'll call it even, okay? And we got more floaty mines, but at least those didn't hit us this time. How did you get frozen? When did you have time to do that? Okay, let me just... There we go, that's better. Yes, yes, we are working on it. Who knew woman cultists could be this much fun? Please, the selling is not here, dying! We just got all manner of goons now, so. Gotta be a little bit careful where we where we step. Because there's gonna be mines and stuff everywhere. Joy. Is there like an easier way of uh dealing with them or Ah, uh, dealing with what? Or who? The mines. I mean, it's just something the bigger guys will shoot sometimes, and if they happen to do it just from the right angle off screen, then there's nothing you can do about them. So what we can really do is just kill the guys first. And there we got some mines. I think if you knock them out like that, it might stop the mines from coming because those didn't really blow up or anything like that. Right. But I'm not sure. So I'm not gonna go too much into it. Oh god, oh god, damn it. <laughs> oh no. I tried so hard to avoid those. And yeah, about here I noticed just how good the plasma ammo actually is, so I start using it a little bit more. Well, we did just get it after all. Yes, I'm working on it. So I'm guessing because it's those are fire rounds, uh, high damage and DOT. Uh, yeah, that is exactly how that works. Yes, yes, I will check on tracks. Just first things first. Okay, and now we got some grenades as well, so that's fun. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, the range on that is sometimes a little bit, a little bit weird. Fire's dead. Scott, one Look, less for me. They surrendered. We made a compelling argument, and we beat them mercilessly. Half expecting a monster to come crashing through the wall. That would be very, very bad. Maybe we should keep moving. I would like to leave this enclosure. I cannot see the battle. You mean you might miss a peek at Lady Hellbender? And Fin Fang Foom. Do you think Foom holds a grudge? We bested him in his own lair. 
will forever recognize us as his superiors. Yeah, well, he's Lady Hellbender's pet now, and she does hold the grudge. That is true. I got this. And anything else we can find? Components we don't need. I mean, we might as well take them. Hey, you're still alive! I guess that's a maybe. Okay, here we go. Oh, hello, boys. Like freaking Terminators. No, you will be there, Terminators. Rocket, I hope this means that Drax knows what the Terminators are. Uh, I don't think he does. I think he just means it in the more general sense. I know, but I I do really want to hope that uh, Peter's had like movie night and uh, has made the crew watch the uh, Terminator. Uh, do you think Drax would prefer Terminator One or Two? Hmm. Or anyone in the crew for that matter. I don't know, actually. What are their Terminator preferences? I don't know. I guess it depends on whether or not like the. Cr the the crew member in, per, in question prefers uh, action to horror. Like I could see Peter being more of a Terminator Two guy. Oh, definitely. Ugh, they suck even when they're on fire. Actually, I think most of the crew would be Terminator Two, honestly. Maybe not Groot. Yeah, Groot's the the one I think might be uh, Terminator One, but he's kind of hard to read anyway. For the record, I am also a Terminator One guy. I'm a Terminator 2 guy, but I do really enjoy Terminator 1 as well. Yeah, both are really good. Really? Your crazy plan is actually working. I never expected Lady Hellbender to show up here. I wasn't sure we were ever going to find Foom or beat him. I'm also the weirdo who kind of liked Genesis, but I even I do admit that like that movie just really wants to be Terminator 2. Nah, we did that, not just me. You're the one who brought us all together. And kept us together. Against our better judgment? That's because you guys have terrible judgment. You should just listen to me always without question. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I probably should have figured as much. Sorry, people, but I gotta... This is a legendary moment. Rhapsodists will sing of this generations from now. When the Guardians of the Galaxy and Lady Hellbender... <sighs> I warned you, couldn't hold it in. Well, that will make an interesting verse for the song. Shh. It'll be too death metal for my liking, but I'm sure we can make it work. <laughs> you are. Don't blame me, I'm just a guy with the tracker. I really do like how you can just pull the snipers towards you with the with the wind shot. Just absolutely none of them just camping up somewhere. No, you get over here, guys. Let's try to handle the big boy before he starts shooting mines at us. You could have just torn him off, you know. Yeah, just a little Missed the further. finisher there, because I'm stupid. Stay down. And there, because I'm also stupid. Or still stupid, I should say. Yeah, he does dart around quite a bit. Well, not anymore, he doesn't. Well, those freaks! It's past time someone got stabbed! 
How many times have you run up and down that, that ramp? A few times. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just really gotta make sure that ramp is uh, secure of the, the Nova Core. Yep. Aha! Well, next is another wave of these idiots, so... We do what we have to. Can you use the vacuum shot to uh, pull dudes into the void? Uh, presumably you could, yeah, if you position yourself properly. That should be possible. Okay, because I'm... I, I'm... That little gap between the platforms there makes me really want to try just like pulling dudes over there. Yeah, I guess I just wasn't thinking about it. I think we got the episode thumbnail sorted. <laughs> Anything else would just be wrong. Glad you got your music back, Quill. You were the one who chucked it into space. Hey, it worked, didn't it? No harm done. Psychological harm was done. Okay, the other side. I was almost I was almost expecting the resolution to uh Peter getting his music back to be like the uh Start the end of the, the second movie where he just gets a zoom or something. Nah, we don't do any of that here. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we can't do that if we're a, a multi platform game. Like holes. Uh, giant robot. I hate these things. Not even sure it is totally robot. What does that mean? It's running on faith energy, right? That comes from people. Blow the wave, Rocket! The more I slice them up! Well, they call us okay, we got quite a lot of boys in this room, so let's see if we can do something about that. Look how much damage that does. Jeez. Like, I don't think it does that much damage with the default values. I think that is just because we cranked that up to to the maximum, but... But, yeah. It's nice that the elemental shots actually do something for once. Yes, yes it is. And the fire shot or the plasma shot, it is pretty slow, so it kind of balances out. Because you have to charge it for a bit. So many boys. people in them? It wouldn't be the weirdest thing we've seen. They're creepy either way. Come on, we gotta go topside again to reach Warlock. 
Leave this to me! If we survive this, we should invite Lady Hellbender to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. More importantly though, where, where is she gonna fit Finn? Quills. You know what? Let's vote on it. Do we invite Lady Leotard? Nope. Yes. Yeah, sure, why not? Peter Quill, Groot, your votes. Yeah, are you kidding? She's awesome. Mean, but awesome. Groot. Groot's a no. So that's three no's and two wrong answers. The no's win. A fair vote. I will concede. Okay, fine. I guess it would have been pretty hard to fit her on the ship. Especially if she had insisted on bringing her pets. Groot's wondering if the whole church is here. They must be. They'd want all hands on deck to protect their ritual. Fortune favors us. We were not sucked into the lethal void. Unless Raker shuts off the gravity. Just have to hope he's too busy with the ritual to think of it. Are we sure Warlock's all the way over on the other side? Yeah, as long as we keep moving forward, we're going the right way. We have found purpose. We will not die here. If we do, we will see Ultath. A correction. I will see Ultath. The rest of you will see whatever heathen paradises you believe in. But I will ask if there is room for you. Yeah, let's just try not to go to Ultoth just yet. We have some things to do here first. Great, thanks. <laughs> I actually forgot that uh, Drax was uh, so eager to, to, to belt out his battle song. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> Just bone my gut on something. Perhaps Lady Hellbender will join us in our final battle against the Magus. Something tells me she's got her hands full. They are large hands. Strong hands. Yeah, I get it. Well, while Drax is fantasizing about the Lady Hellbender's supple hands, Let's see if we can find something interesting in here. It's a shame Lady Hellbender didn't have this kind of army to back us during the Galactic War. She's building her legacy. We are fortunate to have her now. Yeah, let's stay on her good side. And that is the final outfit for Drax, the... Well, the evil one, I guess. It almost makes him look like he's not wearing pants. Yeah, now that you mention it. Which, I mean, I guess that's appropriate, considering how eager he is to strip, but... Why doesn't the Collector help? His money ain't worth scud if there ain't no sellers left. I bet he bought his way into the Nova Corps Exodus. <laughs> this is it. We're almost there. Well, that's one way to clear the room. Cosmo, is that you in there? Da. Spasiba, guardian of galaxies, for helping Cosmo shake away promise. He is no longer chasing stick that is snake. And look, Cosmo is bringing nowhere. Yeah, we noticed. And family. Say privit, my pops. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Ha! 
Cosmo is very much like filthy fleas. You are thinking he is gone until he is biting on your ass. He's such a good boy. Nerd, Cosmo is best of boys. Now we give these brain fleas the bites they deserve. Attack! You sure are, buddy. You're the best.